With their Spartan appearance and aggressive styling, the Cafe Racer is amongst the world's most distinctive and revered motorcycles. Conceived and ridden on the streets of England during the 1950s and 60s, the Cafe Racer's influence continues today in custom street and racing motorcycles. Until now, the Cafe Racer's incredible history and dangerous origins have remained the stuff of legend. Now the people who made these machines famous can tell their own story. Welcome to Cafe Society. Café racers may be a worldwide phenomenon, but to trace their origins we visited one of the birthplaces of café racer culture, London's Ace Café. The Ace is just one of dozens of roadside transport cafés that provided a gathering place for speed-obsessed motorcyclists in mid-century England. In 1994, former policeman and avid biker Mark Willsmore held a reunion for riders who frequented the Ace during its heyday. When thousands of riders turned up for the event, it prompted Willsmore to reopen the cafe and restore it to its former glory. Well, I'm not old enough to have been here first time round, but the cafe opened originally in 1938 as the road out to the south of our car park here, the North Circular, uh, had opened not long before that an arterial or a main trunk route around the, the northern side of London. And this was a typical transport cafe of its day. During the following couple of years, war broke out and this whole area was flattened in an air raid. And the building we're now in was built in 1948 as a cafe and restaurant. Subsequently closed in 1969 and I came along in 94, organised a reunion, 25 years after it had closed, and eventually, in 2001, the place fully reopened, as you see now. But its history includes a period, particularly after the, first, after the Second War, Second World War, 1940s into the 50s and 60s, where the British motorcycle industry was at its fullest strength, huge, huge numbers of bikes being produced, and the baby boom generation took to those bikes as being the cheapest means of transport that they could, they could acquire. And having bought motorbikes, they then would gather as youngsters do to this day to talk their interests and passions and having a vehicle, putting guys together, they'd, um, they'd race their bikes on the stretch of road out here, at which time there were no speed limits, no laws about what tests they'd have to take, and of course, kids racing vehicles 